Really quick, just before we get started, I just want to mention this is going to be about climate pads again. And to all those people that commented on the last climate sleeping pad video that I did, you said, I don't believe you, I was totally warm on my climate pad. Watch the video and then answer that question again. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the R values on static V pads from Climate. This is a very controversial follow-up video to one that I did a little while ago, probably two months back, and I've been receiving a ton of emails and comments referring to the R values of Climate pads now being updated on the Climate website, and they are drastically different from their original claim of their sleeping pads. So I have a few extra pads here to also compare with. We're gonna dive right into this and explain what has happened, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so what in the heck is going on with climate sleeping pads? Well, if you guys remember a little while back, I did a video specifically on climate sleeping pads and I explained what I felt about the climate pads, my experiences with them. If you guys have not seen that video, I'm going to add it up in the corner so you guys can go ahead and check that video out. I'll also add the link to that video down in the description of this video so you guys can kind of go back and get the full scoop of the story. But just to kind of condense the story, the R values were placed very, very high and I found them all very cold. Now for today's demonstration, I do have a few other sleeping pads here on the table. I have a Unigear Canfi P3 air pad. I've got the Gear Doctors Apollo Air sleeping pad. And I have the iconic Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm. As well as two insulated climate pads. So let's talk about these R values now that Climate has actually updated their R values on their website. I'm going to show a little bit of that on the screen. I'm just going to pop up some screenshots as we go on with this video. I'm also going to give you a look at my cell phone on the website and we're just going to kind of scroll through and again I'll pop that up on the screen so you guys can refer to that as well. But I just want to mention that I really don't enjoy doing videos like this. I like to stay positive and I don't like to get into the negativity and the drama of YouTube. Um, but this has been highly, highly recommended that I revisit this. So here I am revisiting it. And my goal is just to bring the information to you guys. I also want to mention all the reviews on my channel, whether I purchase the gear or whether the gear is sent to me. It is 100% agenda free. They are my reviews with my words. I do not do affiliate links. I don't do promo codes. I don't do discount codes. I don't do any of that nonsense. And in fact, I do not care if you buy a single thing that I review. It does not benefit me at all. And I'm even referring to my signature Lone Wolf Edition items, my stove, titanium, my hammock hot tent my tarp I do not care if you purchase anything all I'm doing is showing you guys the products giving you guys a little bit of information and having fun on YouTube so let's dive deeper into what I'm talking about I'm going to inflate the Unigear sleeping pad and the static V insulated and we're gonna take a look at some of these really close okay guys I have the insulated static V from climate in orange and I had the Unigear P3 in green underneath. And the reason why I'm showing you guys these two specific pads from this angle, look at the thickness, okay? Look at the thickness of the P3 on the bottom in green, and look at the thickness of the climate, okay? There are a few other things that I wanna point out. The climate has these very deep chambers, which claim to add insulation to the pad. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit because that's where the misadvertisement and the false advertisement comes from climate. So if you look at the P3 air pad, it doesn't have that. It's more of a uniform flat pad holding that thickness all the way through. Now something very important about these sleeping pads is they do not have ASTM verification. However, climate has now updated their website for the static V of a claimed R value of 4.4. Now it says on the website, R value 4.4 dash ASTM 1.9. Now the P3 air pad has an R value of two, non ASTM verified. Here's the thing, I can use this 
green air pad from Unigear and be very, very warm in cold temperatures, I can use the climate sleeping pad with a claimed R value 4.4 in the same temperatures and I will freeze on this sleeping pad. Which is strange now that they've been updated to an R value ASTM verified of 1.9, kind of supporting my claim that these pads are cold and we have another non ASTM verified pad that actually keeps me warm. So really quick here, we can see the difference in the baffling system. This has very deep cuts, creating a zero R value spot all throughout the pad. And here on the Unigear pad, you can see it's a uniform pad. There are no zero R value spots. This is completely flat all the way across where this pad has massive holes creating all kinds of cold spots. And in my climate video, I actually hold a flashlight to the backside of it. You guys can actually see the light coming through the pad in broad daylight. So what does all of this information really mean? Well, I'm gonna show you guys a close up of these stuff sacks from climate. This particular pad that I'm holding is the Climate Static V Insulated V Lux SL. It has a claimed R value of 6.5 printed on the bag. It even has a cold weather with a cute little snowflake on there. It says it'll keep you warm in the cold. The other stuff sack to the climate also has very comparable information. It shows a snowflake and says cold weather. I believe the snowflake is just a picture of how you're gonna feel if you sleep on these in the winter is you're gonna freeze. That's, that's what the snowflake's for. It's telling you you're gonna freeze on the pad. Now I've had people tell me they've slept on these in the middle of winter and they've been warm all night. I'm not talking winter in Florida guys, I'm talking winter. I'm talking minus 10, minus 15, minus 20 degrees Celsius with a proper sleeping bag. And these certainly are not warm pads. I call total BS on anybody who says differently because when you sleep in winter time, a real winter time, on one of these pads, you are going to be cold, okay? So let's talk about the ASTM verification really quick. The ASTM measurement scale, is, it's actually a testing method, is what the big boys did. So Thermarest and all the big brands wanted to come out with the standardized, standardized method of testing pads. So one company would be comparable against the other company's methods of testing. Now, why did they do this? Because there were companies out there that were boasting that they had all these high R values and they were testing in-house doing their own form of testing, putting a huge R value on their product and then selling it for less, which made the real guys that have a reputable product a little bit angry, okay? So this pad has an R value before ASTM of 7.2 it got bumped down to 6.9, which is barely anything at all. The climate went from 4.4 all the way down to 1.9. Shocker, right? Not really. And then we have another pad here, Gear Doctors Apollo Air, R value of 5.2, non-ASTM verified. However, I have tested this in very cold conditions and I've been totally warm, which makes it higher than the climate, higher than the P3. So there are a lot of things to look for when purchasing a sleeping pad. Reputable brands and different companies are definitely something to look for. But with the climate, they have claimed to have very high R value. So all the big boys, like I said, they all got together and said, we want to create a standardized method that we can all use. So you're going to test your pad the same way as we test our pad. And the number is going to be an actual scale. Just like four degrees Celsius here in Canada is still the same as four degrees Celsius in the UK or Australia. It's a numerical value that is the same. It doesn't change because you're in a different country. So climate has now jumped on board with some of their pad ratings and started putting the ASTM verification, which totally supports my claim of these pads being total BS and false advertisement with their R values because it went from 4.4 all the way down to 1.9. That's less than half, guys. That's crazy. So these pads are total joke on the market. Just because Climate has absolutely lied to all their customers, including me, I purchased this pad and I purchased this pad and then I emailed Climate stating that I was cold on both pads 
and I was trying to figure out what it was and they didn't try and help me they blamed my sleeping bag so they blamed I had a big Agnes sleeping bag they blamed big Agnes for not having the proper sleeping bag they blamed North Face they blamed a whole bunch of companies and then they blamed me saying you weren't dressed properly or you weren't using it properly one important thing with this is our values from sleeping pads are tested just the pad that's what you're purchasing. So when I buy this Thermarest pad, it's an R value of 6.9. That doesn't mean that I have to buy a Thermarest sleeping bag to get 6.9. And that's what Climate was saying is, you have to use a down sleeping bag to loft in these cavities, these little recesses to give you the R value 4.4, which is total BS. That's not how you measure the R value on a sleeping pad. So if I wanted to buy this pad at 6.9 or this pad at 4.4, now the R value system with the ASTM verification is going to tell you what R value this is with Thermarest and with Climate. They're going to be the same no matter the name brand. So some of this information is already gonna be known by some people. Some viewers are gonna know, some viewers are not gonna know. And that's why I'm gonna link two videos, one of the Static V pads themselves and another video on budget pads versus pro pads, both down in the description so you guys can navigate your way to those videos and see the information that I'm talking about. But basically what I wanna cover is this Thermarest pad, I can sleep in real winter with just this one pad on the ground. No additional pad, this is 6.9 R value and negative 20 degrees Celsius, I will be totally warm with a proper sleeping bag of negative 20 or even negative 30 degrees Celsius. I will be very warm. This sleeping pad has a claimed R value of 6.5, which is very comparable, and I could bring a negative 40 degree sleeping bag and I will freeze on this sleeping pad just by itself. So that's what this R value system is supposed to do. It's supposed to give you the information on the pad, not with a sleeping bag, not with an additional pad. It's supposed to give you what this package contains for an R value. That's it. That's what Thermarest does. That's what a number of other companies do. Climate has unfortunately fallen short with that and they have just basically falsely advertised their items and kind of cheated us all, cheated me, cheated some people that have purchased the, the items and have found them very cold and, uh, and basically not standing up against the competitor pads who are rated the same way. Now, I will say that it is very unfortunate because I'm happy with the Climate Static V pad, the build quality and the way it works, as I've stated in other videos. I'm happy with the build quality of this pad from Climate and the build quality and the way it works and whatnot, but I will no longer be using climate pad products or climate sleeping bags or any other climate products just due to their false advertisement and then coming out two years later and updating at 1.9 on their website and then continuing to try and explain, try to convince the people, the consumers who have been purchasing their pads, trying to convince them that the R value is still 4.4 but it's really 1.9. It just doesn't make any sense and it's a foolish game. All right, so that's just a little bit of information from their website and a little bit of photos. I'm gonna flash those photos on the screen so you guys can follow along with me a little bit better. Uh, I'm also gonna add the website to where I found this information, an exact link. You guys can click the link and it'll navigate you right to the Static V Insulated. Scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down and you'll find the R value slash 1.9 ASTM. And then it's the little blue, it says read more if you click that. It goes into a different page and it gives you this whole kind of speech on why they've changed it and just it's just nonsense they're trying to convince you guys that this is an r value 4.4 tested by climate in-house but it cannot stack up to another brand's pad of the same r value so if you did have another pad so let's say this gear doctor's pad was an r value 4.4 and this Thermarest was an r value 4.4 we're gonna have three pads with three totally different R values because this one is ASTM verified at 6.9. The climate at 4.4 is not ASTM, it is verified by climate. And then we've got the Gear Doctors, which is an excellent pad, I love this, but it is not ASTM verified to my knowledge. So they're gonna have a different system of measurement from climate and Thermarest is gonna have a different measurement system between these two but Thermarest is going to be on board with other top brands who are also following the ASTM verification. So if you're looking for up-to-date, really, really good specs on quality products, 
look for that ASTM verification. Now, there are brands out there, like I said, I don't believe this is ASTM verified. I can vouch for it, it is an excellent product and I am absolutely warm on it. Which brings me to my other point, before I purchased the Static V-Pad, I actually had an X-Pad product. It was an R-value of 4.1, it was a downfill mat. And it did not have these deep recesses in it, and I was totally warm on that for years in the wintertime using my North Face Blue Kazoo sleeping bag. That pad kicked the dust after a very long time, so I ended up purchasing this pad. Same sleeping bag, same camping area, same routine, same temperatures, and I was never warm on this. And that's when climate started blaming my sleeping bag, my camp kind of ethics, how I eat, how I dress. And I, I just went through weeks and weeks of emails with them and they never ever to this day have owned up to it or have contacted me back to say, hey, we're sorry. But I will say, climate, total BS. And I know you're watching, so I'm gonna say it to your face, you suck. Climate products, climate pads, they suck. Hands down, if you can't put a respectable R value on your product, so people that are purchasing these products, especially for cold winter, I mean, if I were to grab this at R value 6.5 or this at 4.4 and go camping in winter time, someone's gonna get really, really hurt. Someone's gonna end up in a negative situation where they're gonna freeze. Whereas if you grab a Thermarest or another product that's verified, you know what to expect out of that pad because you can compare those values among many different brands. So it's not really a good business practice and I just, I have to say climate sucks. It totally sucks. So because of this, this is my update video giving you guys the information. It's on their website. You guys can view it for yourself. I am not using climate products on my channel anymore. They're totally wiped off. I'm probably gonna give these away to a friend or maybe sell them off and then recoup the money back into other gear. Uh, good gear. <laughs> so that's my final thoughts. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this video. This was suggested from you guys. So here I am in the backyard giving you guys the content you guys have recommended. But my total message in this video is just to point out that Climate finally, after two years of telling me I was wrong, they have now updated their values from 4.4 to a whopping 1.9. And uh, that's, that's less than half. That's less than half of what they're claiming. And then they're still continuing to claim online that this is an R value of 4.4, which is a total joke. So all you guys out there and girls that purchased a pad expecting R value 4.4, I highly recommend you email Climate and say, I want my money back. I didn't get what I paid for. I want my money back and I'm no longer gonna trust your brand because total BS on this. That's my opinion. That's all I got. Catch you guys in the next video.